Welcome to Spectrum Health TV. I'm joined by Kathy Ostrowski, a nurse and infection control expert at Spectrum Health. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. Colds and flu are easily spread from one person to another. Are there ways to prevent that from happening? Yes, if you cough or sneeze, cough into a tissue and throw that tissue away. If a tissue isn't available, into your upper arm. It's covered with clothing and it's not a surface that we touch a lot. We do touch surfaces though and we can get germs on our hands. So the best way to prevent transmission of any illness is to wash our hands. And I know this sounds simple, but is there a correct way to wash your hands? There is. If you have soap and water available, which we often do, get your hands wet, 10 to 15 seconds of rubbing the soap into your hands, into all the surfaces. Rinse it off, dry your hands thoroughly with a paper towel, and throw it away. Other products we can use, hand sanitizers, are readily available. They're in grocery stores, they're in schools. And it's an alcohol-based product that um, alcohol kills germs, and you just rub your hands together and let the product dry. And is it as effective as soap and water? Absolutely, that alcohol kills germs very effectively. And as I said, they're very convenient. You can carry them in your purse and we can share them with one another. Are there times when you should not use a hand sanitizer? Yes, if your hands have visible soiling on them, if you've been working in the garden with dirt, that won't work to have the hand sanitizer, which is an alcohol-based product. You want to get that dirt off of your hands and then you can use the hand sanitizer. And how can you be sure that others are washing their hands? We really need to remind one another to wash our hands. And if we pull out the hand sanitizer to use, share it with each other and encourage each other, remind each other. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Spectrum Health TV.